it's another day on twister recipe hello twisters and welcome back to twister recipe on today's lunch special we're going to be making a delicious grilled chicken this chicken recipe is packed with lots of nutrients it's packed with lots of herbs and spices and it's great because it's paired with some potatoes to go with it and guys this recipe is easy to make in an hour you can get this on your table do not forget to like and subscribe but let's go ahead and get right into this recipe because again we are here for the finished product we're here for the aroma we're here for the taste and we're here for for everything it's supposed to give so stay tuned for the finished product so let's go ahead and get this process cracking so i went ahead and got this from my local store it's organic and i got it for about 12 43 on sale and guys this is real organic free range so this is what you want to be getting non-gmo you don't want to get those things all preserved and not organic and then get your system messed up just gonna take this out of the bag Ooh. And this is how this juicy mama is looking thickums she's all thick and ready to go so I'm just gonna put this away and I'm just gonna wash it a little bit with some vinegar and then when we come back we're going to go ahead and spice it so stay tuned for that so guys this is it I'm just gonna go ahead and pat dry this down if you guys know they say you're not supposed to wash your chicken because then you're going to spread the bacteria around it but who listens to that I went ahead and used a little bit of vinegar and just soaked it in there and then i'm just going to dry this with some paper towel and then we are going to go ahead and begin seasoning this together to make the season for this chicken so let's clean her and now we're going to go ahead and begin the seasoning process first let's mix our spices together so i'll sit this bad boy over here while we do that hey baby be nice hey be nice sit still okay got it and i'm going to go ahead and put my bowl over here and i'm going to begin by mixing in my onion powder garlic powder black pepper chili flakes sage curry powder a little bit of ginger a marinade blend dill spice some paprika complete seasoning some thyme, chives, parsley flakes, fennel seed, cayenne pepper, ground nutmeg, turmeric, some old bay seasoning, and some all purpose seasoning. Call it Maggie, it's a Maggie cube. A pinch of sea salt. We're just gonna go ahead and mix this together and guys you can choose any seasoning of your choice you can omit some seasoning if you don't want to but i love my spices and i love my chicken to have some taste so i'm going to do just this so guys i also have my green blended spices and click on the link below to see how i got my green marinade spices made but that'll be on our next recipe i'm going to show you guys how i did it but i already blended it and i'm just going to put it on the side this is what we're going to use in marinating our chicken so now we're going to go ahead and begin the process and just get our chicken over here and squeezing some lime over this some lime juice and just rubbing it with my hands so i want to get all the corners of this that lime juice everywhere guys inside rub it everywhere you can and next I'm going to go ahead and just flip it over and begin our seasoning I'll start by putting my dry seasoning I'll just sprinkle that on top and just rub it just rub it down guys oh this baby came out I'm going to flip it over and do the same over here. Just sprinkle that everywhere inside and just rub it down. So guys, you want to get every corner of this. Get the ties, get the hips, get the wings, get all part of this juicy chicken. Because we want that flavor bursting everywhere. So guys, this is how it's looking so far. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil on this bad boy. 
and just rub it so it could marinate well. You flip it over and do the same. So I'm just putting some olive oil on this. Put some inside as well. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff this up now with some carrots. Some celery sticks. Don't be afraid to stuff this baby up. Stuff it up. Because we need that flavor to come out of this chicken. Some garlic as well. I think I'm using like five, six. And I'm also going to put some rosemary. So stuff it in there. Now we're going to transfer it to our baking pan and spray some non-stick spray over here. And we're going to flip it over and she put back everything in there. But first we're going to go ahead and work on our potatoes so we're going to put it in here so we can bake together. So let's get that process going. So guys, so I went ahead and cut my potatoes up. I'm just gonna go ahead and season it and put that with our chicken to bake together. So I'll start by drizzling some olive oil in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my onion powder, garlic powder and sea salt mixing here. Some black pepper. And then I'm just gonna shake this together. So guys, this is our chicken. We're just gonna go ahead and put our potatoes next to it. So that way you can roast and bake together. I have my oven right now set up to broil. So we're just gonna put this around next to the chicken so it can bake together. So guys stay tuned for the finished product so i'm just gonna go ahead and put some lemon here and we're going to go ahead and put this bad boys in the oven to bake right now and when we come back we're going to see the finished product so stay tuned for that let's put this on broil for about 45 to 50 minutes and when we come back we'll see the finished product stay tuned drum roll guys this is the finished product of our grilled chicken i went ahead and broiled this in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes then i baked it for the remaining 20 minutes and i flipped it on both sides so i could get this golden color on both sides and it was well done and still maintaining its juiciness so as a foodie like me i'm just gonna go ahead and cut right into the thighs because you know i love me some bone and some juicy chicken thighs who don't love that the bigger piece is all for me so we're just gonna go ahead and serve this on our plate because i'm drilling right now i can't wait to get my hands on this i'm just gonna go ahead and serve it with the side of my baked potatoes on my plate and then we're going to go into verdict time because verdict time is a moment of truth where we get to tell it as it is and drooling time and it's tasting time and it's everything that has to do with garnishing it's verdict time let's get right into it so guys i'm going to go ahead and cut into a piece of this chicken but i served it with my green spicy sauce again stay tuned for that recipe i'll be posting that recipe soon so we're just going to go ahead and pair this up with our green spicy sauce on the side and then try to get this with our juicy baked potatoes so guys just wait for me to drop this into my mouth and then i'll tell you guys what it is okay, but the aroma from this kitchen is given it's well moist inside it's very juicy inside and this recipe is a must try this is a good family lunch special this is a super tasty mm, mm, mm. this is so delicious and I say this is bussin', like the flavors, I can taste the herbs, the spices, I can taste everything in it. Oh my god, and the green spicy sauce just makes it super delicious and tasty. Lunch special you can make together with your family. It's packed with lots of nutrients, it's super delicious and it's tasteful. Do not forget to try this recipe at home and tag me your version on Instagram at Chef Jean at Jeanpreneur. And guys, stay tuned for more homemade videos from my kitchen to your table. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up for this video, like and subscribe. Click the notification button and alert on new videos posted every week. And I will see you guys on our next video and comment below where you're watching this from and I shall be giving you a shout out. Thank you guys for all the love and support. See you on our next video. Love you all. Kisses and deuces.